Drop a like in the next five seconds or all your skins will disappear next time you log on. Don't risk it. The first Fortnite update of Season 5 went live today and there are a ton of secrets in the game that I am 100% sure you guys don't know about, including a small live event, new mythic weapons, how to unlock the Black Panther purple glow style, and much more. I went through and found literally every important hidden secret you will want to know, so make sure you don't miss any of them because they are all pretty nuts. And guys, 80.3% of you watching this right now are not subscribed, which means you you are missing out on a free gift from me. So I give five subscribers every single day who drop a like, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with their epic ID. Today I decided to give five of the Falala fish stick skin because I did the gingerbread raider the other day. Bet a lot of you guys want this skin, so congratulations to the winners. You guys definitely deserve it. And if you guys could please do me a favor just for Christmas, as my Christmas present is take two seconds to put Doom in your Fortnite item shop. It would truly mean a lot, and seriously, thank you to all you guys that do that for me all right guys and for our first secret fortnite is working on a mini game for us to be able to play during loading screens and they've actually had a couple of these little mini games in the game before i know during the black hole they had a mini game that you could play there was some like Dur burger related mini game and then also i believe in the deadpool room on his computer you could play a mini game too but i could be wrong about that and mango says that it's actually finished it just hasn't been implemented yet but i bet they'll end up enabling it soon once they've made sure everything else in the update is running smoothly moving on to number two i have kind of a cool little easter egg or a continuation of an easter egg for you guys i'm sure you all know about the io guards that just spawn in that little cube around the map or they spawn in a lot of areas around the map and sometimes you can get random stuff popping up like dinosaurs or the two dancing henchmen and well for the holiday season it looks like they've added three new random possibilities for you to get other than the guards you can get a nutcracker just simply some snow or possibly a christmas tree so next time you hear one of those things spawning in around you check to see if you got lucky and got one of the new ones next up for number three it looks like fortnite somehow mistakenly already released what the next crew pack exclusive is going to be and it turns out that it is going to be the green arrow and that was completely random to me i didn't even know the green arrow was to be honest so maybe in the superhero world it's a big deal i don't really know but I guess people on PS4 who bought the crew pack today were awarded this skin instead of the Galaxia. So that's pretty funny. I don't know how they managed to screw that up. But now we know what the next month of the crew pack is going to be. So I guess that's kind of cool. I know I'll probably just keep the crew pack because it's basically like buying V-Bucks anyway. So no biggie. But to be honest, I really don't think that the green arrow is that great. I know someone out there watching is super disappointed and I am sorry. All right. And for number four, I just wanted to let you guys know about some free stuff that you need to make sure you got in your locker if you guys have the globe shaker skin you should have got a brand new edit style for the skin as well as his back bling and a new freestyle for the backboard back bling so yeah if you have any of those make sure you double check and see that you got them also you should have been awarded the free spray for participating in the frosty frenzy cup and i'm kind of disappointed that i didn't end up doing this because this spray is actually kind of funny so r.i.p to me however i did end up getting that nebulae wrap for for free for watching the game awards so i guess they did send those out so if you're looking forward to that you should have got that as well so yeah i just want to let you guys know about those few things and actually as i'm recording this fortnite status has actually announced that they're going to give us another opportunity to get that skull clause spray it says for people in europe it'll be on december 17th while the rest of the regions will be on december 19th i can't find an exact time but i would just look on the events tab in game to see when it is if you really want that spray still moving on to number five fortnite actually introduced a brand new setting called performance mode to be able to run your game a little bit smoother so you get more frames and the gameplay just feels better and everything but it turns out if you use this setting you will actually be able to see just straight through the storm as if it wasn't even there at all so it's super op and they may fix this pretty quickly but at least in the meantime if you guys are watching this video like immediately i would give it a shot just to see how op it is but yeah either way honestly 
let's see. I would try to give performance mode a shot to see how it affects your gameplay. Okay, and for number six, I don't know if you consider this a secret or what, but I thought it was super interesting nonetheless. And that is that Travis Scott apparently made 20 million dollars from his collaboration with Fortnite. I think including his skin sales, the merch sales, and all that stuff. Maybe Fortnite just paid him to have a concert. I'm not really sure. But yeah, 20 million. That is absolutely insane and i think this means they're gonna try and get more and more really big artists like this and we could have more of these crazy concerts in the future which i'm all for because honestly the travis scott event i think was even better than the galactus event so if we had something like that for like drake or something i think it'd be super super awesome but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because i thought that was absolutely mind-blowing now for number seven we have footage of the snowy flopper thanks to mix on twitter now if you guys are watching this a few days later it's possible that this is now in the game now with opera Operation Snowdown. But as soon as the update dropped, it was not in the game. I tried looking for it. But it basically seems to work just like a chiller grenade where you get ice cubes on your feet. So yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to find this whenever they change the lobby and everything. It'll be pretty clear that all the winter related stuff will be in the game at that point. Next up for number eight, to my surprise, it looks like we have some other sort of live event this season related to the zero point. So basically, PQ Leaks found these sound files in the game, and it has to do with with the loop or a base opening and closing and it's interesting because the zero point has gradually been getting larger and right now there's one trail coming from the zero point that seems to be going more towards salty towers if anything which it's been updating pretty quickly like every hour so this whole thing could be going down pretty soon obviously i don't imagine it'd be some crazy live event or anything since we just had one but it's definitely hitting towards something so i would just keep an eye on it even every single time you load into a battle royale match personally i think it's a tease for a new character to come onto the island and my guess would be predator but we'll get into that later and now for number nine it's looking like we're gonna get an update on the mandalorian mythics because we recently had this loading screen of the mandalorian with his mini blaster pistol and i mean even the original loading image has him with that blaster pistol in it so it's only a matter of time before they release that but then he also has the full blaster rifle that he actually already has in game now like he can literally damage you with it but when you eliminate him he doesn't drop it so we'll probably end up seeing that as a mythic soon too so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that because they could literally change that on the fly at any point and yeah it would just be another way to spice things up this holiday season and speaking of the holidays the snowstorms are going to be returning this season as well as the map gets more snowy the sound files were added back this update and yeah pretty much as the game goes on and on the storm gets worse and worse so you guys will for sure notice when this gets introduced to the game and i think it's a cool little feature so i'm excited to see it return Alrighty, guys and for number 11 yes this is confirmation that black panther is actually entering the game and to be honest it's a lot sooner than what i expected because once they didn't release it in season four i thought for sure they were going to wait for another marvel related season to drop him but there's actually a lot going on with black panther this season we're gonna get wakanda forever challenges so here they are as you can see here now the visit different snow mando outposts and the deal damage with lever action rifle challenges could be changed because those are also part of the operation snowdown challenges so those might be just a placeholder but it's looking like we're gonna be able to do these challenges to earn the wakanda forever emote for completely free but don't worry he is coming as a skin as well and he has an insane like purple glow style which looks absolutely nuts like this skin is going to be everywhere i can already guarantee it it may be the hypest skin honestly maybe since like recon expert or something i'm not even lying and not only that it's looking like he could be an npc on the map as well so they're really going to be capitalizing on the hype here but i gotta say it's pretty disappointing that we didn't get him as an actual mythic boss last season i'm not gonna lie but you know what i can't complain too much because we are getting him in the game at least finally and speaking of npcs we also have confirmation that the Noir NPC is going to be entering the island very soon as well. We thought he was going to be here the same time as Snow Mando, but a way you guys can check to see if he's in game is by going to your map and then scrolling over to all the NPCs and seeing if there was a new slot added. I think with Snow Mando, there should be 41 right now. So if you see a 42nd one, then you'll know he was added into the game. I don't think we know exactly where he's going to be yet, but hopefully he's carrying something good. But yeah, be on the lookout for him because he could appear any day now. Alrighty, guys, if for 
number 13, I have the final version of what the winter map is going to look like this season. So it's looking like not the entire map is going to have snow this year, which is kind of interesting. But there are Christmas trees popping up around the map and even a few new buildings Christmas related. So we'll have to wait until the game actually updates to see exact locations for these. But yeah, don't get your hopes up too high because the whole map is not going to be covered in snow this year. Next up for number 14, I have some small hidden updates for you guys. Hypex has found out that the charge shotgun spawn rate has been lowered, which kind of sucks because it was already pretty low in my opinion. But now gold is going to drop in higher numbers, which is really good. I noticed the bounty give you like twice as much gold now. And I think you just get gold more consistently around the map. So that's pretty cool. Mango has noticed that the dragon shotgun actually received a buff both to the damage and it will knock people back a little bit farther. So I guess that's kind of cool. And something kind of random I just thought I'd throw in here because I know where else to put it is the china version of the new crack shot style since they're not allowed to show skulls in china looks kind of funny so i thought i would just share it with you guys all right guys and it looks like black panther is going to be included in this brand new skin pack called the marvel royalty warriors pack so this whole pack contains three skins three back blings three pickaxes and two gliders the other skins are captain marvel and the taskmaster so personally, I don't think the Taskmaster skin is that great, but Captain Marvel is nuts, especially her second style where she's all like glowing and stuff. It looks absolutely crazy. And her pickaxe is pretty clean too. I'm not sure if we have footage of the Taskmaster and Black Panther pickaxes yet or any of the gliders. But I mean, let's be real. I think with just Black Panther alone, we would have bought this pack, but Captain Marvel definitely makes it way better too. This is going to be the best selling pack for 100% sure. I'm going to have to give away a ton of v bucks to you guys to get this thing because i really want as many of you guys to get this as possible i've got a feeling it's going to be kind of pricey i think it's going to be like 30 dollars if i had to guess we don't quite have a release date on it yet but since it's in this update it's got to be within the next couple weeks so yeah i'm so hyped for this pack i'm sure you guys are too and i hope that we are all able to get it now for number 16 guys it looks like they may be reverting aim assist back to the old ways where it used to lock on a little bit for you or maybe they're just testing it for specific scenarios or something I don't know but Mango was able to find this quote targeting system aim assist so I'm curious to see how this ends up coming out because personally I think aim assist is kind of weak right now I know some keyboard players hate me for that but hey you guys gotta admit they have nerfed aim assist countless times right now all right guys and now for 17 through 20 I'm just gonna count all these leak skins as the rest of the secrets there are so many there's so many cool ones we really have some insane skins to choose from this holiday season i gotta say but that's gonna do it for the video hope you guys enjoyed if you could please do me a favor take two seconds put doom in your fortnite item shop i know i say it all the time but trust me it helps me out so much i can't stress it enough let's make the secret word hulk and i'll be twice as likely to add you if you put that that's gonna do it guys i'll see you on the next one all right peace out